Hello everyone, I've walked around how to beat Scythe of Amon on Brutal Difficulty while playing as Kerrigan. So for Mastery Skill Points and Power Set 1, I'm going to be using Kerrigan, Attack Damage, Power Set 2. I'm going to be splitting this up. 15 of our points in Combat Unit Vespine Gas Cost, and 15 in Augmented Immobilization Wave. Now, Zaxton Hong from the comments posted this point about splitting it half and half, and I definitely agree, and I'm going to try it out too, but just about thinking... After thinking about it, I, I'm thinking that Zaxton, you know, posted a pretty good point here. So, uh, oh, and one more thing. Correct me if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. So, basically, if you put in too much, you know, combat unit Vespine gas cost, if you put all 30 points here, then you're going to be surplusing way too much gas. If you put it all in here, then you're going to be surplusing too many minerals if it's all in a mobilization wave. So, you split it half and half, and that's about right. And then for power set three, we're going to do Expedious Evolutions. Okay, brutal difficulty one more time. We're gonna be playing with a random player. And let's hop straight in. Alright, we found a Nova teammate. Mastery level 201. Holy cow, that is a lot higher than we are. <laughs> Definitely has been playing a lot. But then again, I mean, I don't know how much the level, how long it takes to get a level after 90, because I've noticed it's been going a lot faster than when it, I was like mastery level 80. When I was mastery level 80 to 90, those levels took a long time to get, but now it's a lot quicker, a lot more quick. Okay, I'm going to hop right in, make some drones here. Going to make one drone and then make an overlord. Let's see, we'll stick our overlords in the back here. Okay. You must strike down the void slivers to prevent its awakening. And then uh, I'm going to have to look into something. So. Uh, Zaxton Hong also posted another interesting point. Apparently there's a way you can queue up your spawn larva even faster without having to specifically select on your queens. You could, I think you can set up a hotkey of some sort and then you can just rapid fire the spawn larva. I'm not exactly... Neve versus Rogue? Oh, that must be uh, WCS match that's going to go on or something like that. But yeah, there's there's a way you can instantly spawn larva, which I did not know about. So I'm going to have to check that out. Okay, we're going to throw down a spawning pool, throw down an extractor. Okay. And then we'll keep on pumping out more drones here. Oh, that's on right now. Okay, we're going to get these guys onto the gas. Oh, look, that looks nice. Look at that water. I couldn't see this water before. <laughs> new computer, new graphics. Okay, we're going to pump out a queen. And I've been pretty darn slow about getting out my uh, buildings here. So we're going to throw down another extractor since we're high on that mineral count right now. The enemy's coming for us. Hope you're ready for this. Okay, Kerrigan will be out here in a sec. I'll probably get out at least one pair of raptors. Okay, we'll throw you guys onto the gas. Okay, we're going to start getting layer tech. Okay, we'll get this on hockey too. Actually, I like Hockey 3 and then the Hockey 4 here. I could probably, actually, maybe what he suggested is setting Rapid Fire on the spawn larva, then I can just hold down Z. But still not very sure on that. Alright, we'll take these guys down here. Okay, and now I'm going to start needing to clear out this bonus objective area with Kerrigan. 
Okay, we'll get heroic fortitude. As soon as the layer's down, we're going to get chain reaction. Set up some hotkeys here. And we're going to start pumping on another queen. Okay, we're going to take out this Archon. We'll take these guys out. And we'll use Psionic Shift again here. Okay, hopefully we can keep Kerrigan alive. <laughs> barely! We barely did it by using the Carapace, mutating Carapace. Okay, we need some more overlords. We're gonna soak some of those minerals. Okay, we get chain reaction and melee attacks level one. Spawn more overlords. Okay, it looks like my teammate's gonna take out this first sliver. Our allies are in combat. And we're just gonna finish clearing out this area for the boss first boss objective. Okay, we'll get metabolic boost. And then hardened carapace. Seems like we could use a defensive drone. Spawning pool. Completed. No time like the present. You have crushed a void sliver. I knew you could be trusted. Metamorphosis. Okay. I'll get ground carapace level one here. Evolution complete. Okay, I will start doing some damage with Kerrigan, but won't push too hard if we don't need to. Okay, I'm also going to get Hive Tech going. Did I make another queen? I think I did. Okay, Kerrigan seems to be doing okay on health. I'm going to start spawning some creep tuner tumors here. Your queen listens. Oh, I want to keep attacking here. Okay, we'll take out that rift, and we'll take out the next rift here. Brace yourselves. Enemy forces are inbound. Okay, we want some more zerglings out here. Put another tumor, trick tumor up there. We must ensure they depart soon. If you can help defend Okay, we'll get ground care for level two. And I'm gonna get down a hydralis den. The evacuation ship is heading out. Keep watch over it. Gonna get assimilation aura going. Get some more uh, resources out of these guys. Bonus objective should be just fine. Our Raptors will take out the rest of the stuff there. We're going to get ability efficiency to reduce the cost, energy cost, and cooldowns of Kerrigan's well abilities. Then we're going to get Muscular Augment, Ancillary Carapace, and Frenzy from Hydralis Den, and then we'll turn it into a Lurker Den pretty quick here. Okay, going to expand. Your queen listens. Okay, going to keep on spreading, spreading creep. Okay, I'm gonna get this drone down here. Our allies are in and we're gonna spawn a ton of drones. We're gonna drone up here and start clearing out some more stuff with Kerrigan. Okay. I'm gonna need some more overlords. Get some overseers out of them. Get level 3 carapace. Here, we'll put that on that one right there. Actually. Um, Banshees, oh boy. Better move back. Okay, I need to take out those Marines. Okay. Uh, what was I gonna do? Um, well, we'll get Adrenal Overload, Overload, and uh, Shredding Claws. I need to get some more Overseers. Alright, you need to get my Overseers over here at least. He's in mobilization right now. Um, something I forgot. What am I forgetting here? I bought some drones, get a queen here. Huh, I forgot my th train of thought. I don't know what I was going to do. Okay, well, in the meantime, we're just going to get some creep, more creep tumors down. Let's keep spreading those out. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to flip this back over to this one, but oh well. It's working just fine. We'll get level 2 missile attacks, get a lurker den, and then we'll get the lurker den upgrades. Or the single lurker den upgrade. Complete. Okay, and we'll get you guys onto the gas. Queue up a bunch more drones. Okay. Just 
keep on spreading that creep. I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah, we'll get seismic spines. And now I'm going to start making a ton of these nidus worms all over the place. Assimilation aura is now ready. Okay. Evolution. Time to play deep. allies are in combat. Okay, creep spread is doing great. Out of energy. Okay, I'm gonna get some hydralis down. We require more vesting gas. Get this guy into hockey six. Complete. And I'm going to get that rapid fire set up. I'm definitely going to do rapid fire for the these uh, creep tumors here. Get hockey five for this We're guy. Get missile attacks level three. Got all the upgrades for our raptors. Pretty sure they're raptors, right? Oh, they're Zerglings. I thought they were called Raptors, but... Ah. Maybe I'm thinking of... Zagara? Or maybe they just have the Raptor upgrade. Cliff Jumper. Make huh. I'm pretty sure in the Heart of the Swarm campaign they're called Raptors, but... Whatever. Zerglings. Okay, we are going to Immobilization Wave the heck out of these guys. Check how much damage you do. Crazy. Okay, we'll just go ahead and clear out all this stuff while we're at it. And you know what? I actually don't know if I want Pneumatized Carapace anymore. I like that these Overseers are slower, because I, I tend to have the problem where they're so fast that they move in front of my army when I'm using the attack command. So it's like, why would I even, why would I even bother now? <laughs> why would I bother with that? Okay, I'm going to rally these guys into the Nidus Worms. Evolution. Okay, Our we're gonna get a bunch more Hydralis, queue up a bunch of Zerglings, and I need additional Overlords once again. Okay, where where is this guy? Okay, you, I want over here. Excellent. Each fell void sliver gives us more time. Our allies are in combat. Okay. Drone initiated. And we're going to put, oh geez, Kerrigan is uh, still pushing forward and not dying. Kerrigan is really tough. I just let her be and she didn't die. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, now I want all of these guys. I've been a little bit bad. Oh, now I let her die. Shoot. I want all those guys in the same hotkey there. Okay. Start using nice ones all over the place. Okay. Downside is your overseers move very slowly across the map when you need to get somewhere else. Okay, I'll get pneumatized carapace, I suppose. <laughs> I know, I make it sound like it's such a big task. <laughs> okay, we're going to spread these creep tumors. Enemy forces incoming. Slay them to the last. We'll spawn some more larvae here. The evacuation ship is almost ready to resume okay. its course. Get all of these guys out here. Oh no, don't die in. Oh. No, that just wasn't very nice. Oh, see ya. Look how many resources just got off that. That was awesome. Okay, we're gonna get a bunch more Hydralis. And now we're gonna make a bunch more Overlords as well. Okay, you guys in the back. Turn into leopards. Oh, and I am way low on overlords. The frenzy, though, is crazy good on these hydralists. Holy cow. I don't even need lurkers. Actually, I don't even know why I would make lurkers at this point. These <laughs> these hydralists are way too strong. So we're just going to focus this down. Because we have so much damage output right now. Lurkers, I have to burrow. I mean, this isn't a defensive map. Why would I even... I'm just thinking to myself right now. <laughs> I'm thinking out loud. Why would I even waste my time making lurkers right now? Because the populists do so good. And look at his, uh, look at Nova's army combined with the populists. It's just so mobile and fast. Okay. Once more larva. More reinforcements. All right. That bonus area is cleared out. 
Jeez, yeah, we, uh, we've got this one easily covered with just, didn't even have to use Zerglings at the end here, just pure Hydras. And Nova's got the detection covered because you can get an upgrade for her to just do detection. Focus down this last guy, not even a chance. Yeah, that was, uh, Cakewalk. <laughs> I had a good teammate, that's for sure, but holy cow, I didn't um, <laughs> realize the utter strength of just Hydras on this specific co-op mission. 3-3 three, three upgrades and with Frenzy, plus their increased range, so Kerrigan will take all the damage and focus of the damage. Crazy. Okay, we'll look at endgame stats for anyone who wants to see. And that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you for watching, everyone. Make sure to leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you all in the next one.